Hey everyone, Trina here, back with another video. Today we're going to be working in sketchbook and play with some underpainting today. Something I've been wanting to try for a while. Let's get started with some marks. As we do. I hope you all are staying warm. We're experiencing very cold, single digit, below zero temperatures here today in lovely Kansas. So I'm here in the studio just making marks and doing my thing. Take some water, put down for some acrylic ink. I'm gonna put down a lot more because I'm gonna add in the Nico Asso Gold as well. The first layer is gonna be all about ink. So I'm gonna just lay down some of my paint gray marks. Just get in there. And with the shaper tool, just kind of press it in. I really like working with the shaper tool in this way because I can get some pretty distinct marks. Makes it really nice, I think. And gives it this, you can see through here, like how sort of transparent that is. I'm also going to go in with the Derwent ink tints while this is wet and just make a few more marks through here. Give it some. I've been really stagnant, I think, in my work lately, so I kind of want to just be a little bit more dynamic with it. I'm going to go in with the Nico Azo Gold. And I just I probably didn't need to put that much down. This is going to be our underpainting for this bottom part. And we're going to kind of just see how we can play with this idea. I've seen a lot of portrait painters use this idea and this technique. So we're going to see if we can apply it to um, what I do. I don't think that way too much, but that's okay. I think I'm going to go back in and take a little bit of it out because it's a lot. there. Okay, let's let that dry. See what we get. So I've got some of the golden open acrylics here that I'm going to use. I'm going to start off with um, a little bit of this okra color with some white. And we're just going to see what we can make here. Let's start up here first and then oh, let's bring this back over. I'm just going to go in and add some of this color through here. And the idea is that this underpainting will add some depth to this color. Let's add a little bit of green to that as well. This brush is very icky. I think there's something on it. I'm not meaning to be very particular about this as far as adding paint. Come back to it. Take a little bit of the alizarin crimson in here and mix up a pink color. And add in some pink through here. Put a little bit of water on there too. Okay, let's just add. I just want some of this pink. That's really subtle. I don't know if I want. I think I want it more bold than that. I mean, if we're gonna use pink, we might as well use all the pink. Like, let's not be babies about it. That's nice. I like that. Um, I think 
going to mix some of this yellow okra with this pinky color. I may have went too far there, but... Be a little white. I don't want it too pastel-y. That's kind of an interesting color. This pinky orange color. I want that up here, though. I want to cover up all my good white. But I like it down here. I'm liking this combination. I'm going to add in a bit more white. I kind of lost a little bit of it through here. I don't want it to be too... Um, maybe... Maybe just down like through there. Yeah, I'm good with that, I think. Add some movement through there. Let's stop. I'm going to add just some straight up of the sap green. Let me get some darks back in here. Really like that. That's kind of nice right through there. I think I need some color that's not, oh, we need to make this real dark over here. Um, I think I need some Payne's Gray. I think I've got some Payne's Gray here. I'm just going to add this in by the blue. I could mix it together, but I think I'm just going to let it sort of do its thing. So I kind of want it to be. Maybe away from the green a little bit. Okay, I got that way too, way too wet. Okay, and I also want to put some up here. Go for the ink spots. I'm just adding in more little layers a little different than what I normally work so I hope you're enjoying it <laughs> trying something new it gets stagnant every now and then um gotta loosen up change things up a little kind of looks like a patchworky quilt got going on here but the most important thing is I'm having really good time painting this Okay, I'm going to need some more Nico Azo Gold through here at the top. I just don't have enough of it in there. As much as it works as a glaze, I think I like it better as a sort of, or underpainting. I like it better as a glaze, I think. But it was a good experiment to try um, underneath. I think it does bring out a lot more of those warmer tones by having it underneath it kind of changes it and it probably work better if I were using a canvas um, this paper isn't really it's mixed media paper but it's not really built for this sort of layering on top of layering on top I think we need some Caran dash on top of here let's come in with our yellow and dash and let's add some brightness vibrancy to it layers of color get a little more energy through here oh I'm really liking it now this is fast becoming one of my favorites um it might need 
bit more of the pink. This is the rose pink. Let's add some of that in here as well. This is going to be pretty cool. Oh, I like that. I like that combination with the Azure Gold. We played with that before. And I don't want this to get too complicated. Um, I think I'm going to try this orangish yellow. That's just a little bit down here at the bottom. That doesn't look very orangey or yellow. I mean, it's a little... It's probably because I'm marking over that. I think I'm going to have to buy some more of the Kieran dashes. I think I need more colors. Oh, there it looks so nice right here. Let's cool through there. I think I'm going to need some more blues maybe in the Karen dash so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have to look for that and see if I can find another cooler set so I had some Payne's gray left over so I'm gonna use this piece of cardboard here and we're just gonna make some marks through here here. Yeah. Oh, I think that really brought it together a little bit. Maybe it's too much, but I think I kind of like it because it mimics what's going on up here. I really like the underpainting. I really like the Nico Azogold up here. And I really, I, I like how it turned out. You can see there's one over here. Let me, let me pull out just a little bit. This is sort of, this one I made a while ago and it has no underpainting. You can see that the colors are a bit more bold in this one over here um, than it is in this one. And even though they're slightly different colors, this is still the Nico as a gold with just pink on top, but you can see how much of the work, the underpainting adds depth to the piece in this one versus this one. It's a good comparison. Let's look at it with a mat. And here we are with the mat. Um, I like it. I think it, I think it, like I said, I love the glow, if you will, that's coming through it. And I think I might use this technique going forward. I just feel like it adds a lot of depth to it. Um, probably could have made some more bold marks, but I'm pretty happy with it overall. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the video to the left if you want to see more work. And I will see you in the next one.